welcome back to another video hope you are okay and today with a smart plug which i'm not really sure if i can call it smart plug it is smart but as we can see it has a male socket on one side a female socket on the other side and then on the middle the relay protector and switch so all this kit is a smart plug for Apple Home Kit. Besides the Apple Home Kit, it also uses for some functions, which we will see in just a few moments, the AVVR app. Talking about EVVR, we took a look a few weeks ago to a smart switch. I will leave a link right over here on the YouTube cards and also down below on the video description, just next to the Keys Fan website. If you are watching this video on your Windows 10, Windows 11 computer and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out Keys Fan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on the screen and down below on the video description, you will get an extra discount. Now, let's take a look at the a smart plug which is really interesting inside this package we'll find the smart plug and also this quick user guide which I'm going to be fair I did read it a little bit so it's not completely useless it's actually not only mandatory but it has a few things that are interesting for example the status LED which okay we need to learn so that we can discover what is doing now in terms of build qualities this is the first thing that came up to my sensation to my feeling is that when we get it out of the box we feel it that this is high quality it's well built i would say that these are 2.5 millimeter wires and if you are used to uh, electrical cables this is quality it's quite heavy this might be a disadvantage in some points but the build quality is here and the protection here on the relay now the evvr states that will go up to 16 amps so 16 amps and 220 volts means that we can plug this to devices up to 3500 watt which means basically Basically that we can power it to any device that we have water heater AC portable ACs toasters anything that we want and sometimes in some cases more than one device up to 3500 watts we have seen quite a few smart plugs here on the channel this is the first time that we are looking at this format and for Apple home kit usually we took a look at this kind of uh, smart socket or smart plug which has some advantages and disadvantages and this format right over here also has advantages and disadvantages depending on our situation now i would say that for larger places probably this format is easier to use but for places where we have tight space this is a great advantage because i will be able to plug in this on a tight space where i will not be able to put this format right over here and then the advantage that i see is that i can put it right over there and then i still have an extension so that i can connect to my device so this is a really interesting feature that we will have to study before we are Wire, depending on the device that we want to connect I'm talking about just one device but one of the things that I did in the past and sometimes I usually do is that I usually connect my smart plug to one device that I want to find out what I'm spending for the week for the month and what periods I'm spending so that I can improve my way of spending less so I can use for one or two months on my fridge to understand my behavior and if I can adjust the fridge temperature and so on so forth and then after one month i can use for my water heater and try to understand my consumption where can i spend a little bit less here spend a little bit less there the best way would be to have one of these for each device but the truth is that sometimes we are on a budget we can purchase one now and probably in a few months another but we can use it on several devices so here's the idea now i did test it with a toaster with 900 watts just because i'm curious to see if the devices are actually measuring right and this is one of the curiosities that we have here on the channel and as you guys know we always test now this is accurate we are measuring 900 watts we have seen some other devices in the past where we are spending 200 watts but the app says that we are spending half or double and that it's no good this one right over here measures correctly the installation is really easy it will take about 30 seconds we just need to plug it in and then open the apple home kit app 
add the new device and I would say 20, 30 seconds, something like that. It's ready to start using and we can create our automatizations. Now on the Apple Home Kit, we will not have access to power consumption. So we will need to install this app from EVVR. Once we have the app, we will grant access to the Apple Home Kit. And after that, we will have access to the power consumption that we have besides the other function. Besides the real-time power consumption, we can also have access, for example, to the total power consumption that we have, daily, average, monthly, total, so that we can adjust our consumptions. Now, this is a smart plug, which really interesting. Hopefully, I did share to that side of the screen all the information. At this moment in time of the recording, I'm not really sure about the price, so the link will be down below. Hopefully, it will be an interesting price according to the interesting device that it's right over here for someone that has Apple HomeKit ecosystem and you already have a few devices and now you want to add something to help you to measure the power consumption not only for power consumption but also for our automatizations of a device that we want to control like a water heater which is a great example and we use here on our home that being said if you have apple home kit and you want to add a device that it's capable of automatization and power consumption in my opinion it's really interesting if you enjoyed the video don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and activating those notifications my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one